a video today to show you how to fit our new rear bumper so this is really just the protection stroke step bumper for the back of the Land Rover Defender so if you've already got a tow bar that looks something like this we got the drop bar one what it does is it converts it to look more like one of the NAS spec tow bar rear bumpers but rather than to change everything you can just put it on the other thing that we've made is a lot of there's not a lot of protection for this corner on the back of a defender so as you'll see when it's fitted it comes on so basically you've got a little adapter plate here which goes on just here um, two little bolts and then bolts into into the two holes here at this end same at the opposite end and this little tube here um, has got the bolt that comes in through the hole in the chassis there through that hole so that bolts it up and you've got the two bolts in the top here you can see with these washers here go through those two holes there at the top um, and then it's the same on the other side we sort of put a little footprint here so you get a bit more grip and there's some paw prints there there we go it's our artistic license that one there right i'm going to sit at the side here i've got complaints my camera's too shaky so i'm, I'm going to sit down oh that's pretty cool it just sits on then ish that will rest there <laughs> Put your ends first. Um, we'll get the ends done first, probably. So we put. So yeah, now it's a good point actually. Yeah. So Ian got fed up getting his hand round the back of the chassis, but normally the little corner bumperettes bolt onto these with a nut and a bolt. It's the, it's the handle that goes from those two. Two. Are those, those two, two little slopey ones yes. there? That little grab handle, little love handle. Uh, and so he's put a couple of rib nuts in there, which is actually a pretty neat solution, so you haven't got to keep diving. But we do supply a nut and a bolt, so you go through there, and then you've got the little spacer bracket. In fact, yeah, let's have a look, he's, he's racing ahead over here. So there's a little spacer bracket, only because otherwise it, it doesn't clear it's just right. Just to keep it clear. Yeah, clear. Because we didn't want it touching the bodywork there. So when, it, when you bolt it up, we wanted a little gap there so that any knock, the force is more transferred onto the rear cross member than it is onto the aluminium bodywork at the corner there. We could put a little neoprene gasket in there if, if people think it's a problem. Write and let us know and we'll cut some on the laser, a little pad of neoprene in there if people don't. And then at least you won't have a gap. And it, but it won't push on the body. Yeah, so these plates can go either way around. They're both identical. Yeah, they're not left or right. Yeah, they're not handed. So we'll bolt up the other end. Quickly. I was going to say, why don't you? Yeah. Right, I'll, we'll Steve will do the other end. I'll stop the video and then we'll we'll join him when he's when he's got that done and we'll do the. Yeah. So we're just debating there off camera which ones to do next. Now there's quite a big clearance in there because there's a big hole in the chassis. So you're probably better off leaving those to last and doing these two. Now this is where we need to mention that we we have found one other tow ball where this doesn't fit and, and what I don't know quite how we describe it but it was a little bit wider here when it? it didn't look like this one mm. um, so the next version we'll do we'll, we'll change this middle bit a little bit to account for both types so on these ones we've got quite a short bolt in there it's gonna it, have plenty of engagement and ours have got a captive if you've got an old Defender, some of them don't have this captive nut in them. So you'd have to get yourself an M10. But ours is a E-Reg. E-Reg, yeah, ours oh, is yeah, E-Reg, and it's 1986, yeah. Um, having said that, I don't think ours is on its original chassis, but... And let us know if if, if, there are, if you need extra bits, and we'll, we'll send them out or start changing the kit around. So it is a new product we're launching. So if there's any feedback, let us know. Up. And before we nip them up, we may as well get the wrong ones in, mate. Like, yeah, but and then just tighten it all up. So we've put some little end caps in the end here, so it's all fully enclosed, black powder coated. Right, so let's. So you're gonna have a. So yeah, so then you've got to put these these nuts in here. You might be as well to to look underneath. This is gonna be the fun bit. So you got these. Oh, there you go. So you got these big holes under here. And then. It, have I got the right hole in? It's the little pipe. It's the pipe, the pipe, where am I looking? The pipe just by the chassis there. And the pipe just by the chassis there. Outside edge of the chassis. Yeah. You're on the inside edge of the chassis. 
You're on the inside, you need to go to the other side. Ah, yeah, sorry, okay, the other side of the chassis leg, yeah. Okay, sorry, I was talking over rubbish. There you go, so there's a little bit of pipe there. And then put that there. Right, I'll get those in and then we'll come and have a look. I'll fish that and try and find the, the, yeah. find the thread in the middle of that pipe. So there we go, that's the rear bumper all bolted up now. So I'll give you a little view of it from a different angle. So there we go, you can see we've tried to get it so it protects the, the rear corner of your car um, from damage there. And then you've got a bit of a step for getting in the back door. You've got the clearance around the tow bar there. I mean, one thing to watch was depending where you put your, your draw bar through, you might have a bit of a problem, but I think if you put it on before, you might, um, might want to watch that where you put your pins through there. Um, it should be it should be okay. It should go up between the two. The, you should have the room there. That that plate sits between those two. Yeah. So if you may just have to fish it. Fish in. it in. Yeah, get in the pin bit. in. But it looks right. Um, there is some clearance around it. But there we go. Good luck with that.